First Alert 5 weather. Colorful Colorado lived up to the name today with those snow-capped Rocky Mountains. Of course, that's America's mountain off in the distance. We've got a few clouds out there, but it's dry all across the News 5 viewing area. Current temperature in the spring, 74 degrees. We had a brand new all-time record high earlier today at 79 degrees. Pueblo, earlier today, you hit 86. That was warm enough to tie the all-time record high temperature for the date. There's a cold front on the way. It'll get here late in the day tomorrow ahead of it. Going to pick up a strong westerly wind. I think we could see gusts up to 40 and 50 miles per hour at times tomorrow. Once that front passes, winds will switch to the north. Look for blowing dust across parts of the viewing area tomorrow. Then late, a few rain and snow showers in your forecast. This is the way it shakes out hour by hour. Plenty of sunshine early tomorrow morning, even into the early afternoon hours. I think we'll see blue sky and then by mid to late afternoon, those clouds really thicken across our area. Watch what happens after 5, 6 o'clock. That snow pushes off the Palmer Divide here across parts of Colorado Springs. Most of it's going to be north and west of the downtown area. Not a big fall of snow by any means, but any moisture is certainly good news. Unstable enough for a few thunder showers or a weak thunderstorm across portions of Pueblo County. Not going to be a whole lot of snow, I think, by late tomorrow night. Up to two inches certainly possible across portions of northern El Paso County, up across Teller County, anywhere from a trace to maybe an inch of wet, slushy snow by late tomorrow night. High fire danger across the viewing area. Red flag warning active until 8 o'clock tonight, and then we'll see a new red flag warning kick in for, uh, throughout the day tomorrow. It's going to be very dangerous to fight those fires tomorrow. So a couple of tips for you here. Certainly no outdoor burning tomorrow. You never want to toss a cigarette butt out the car window. And if you do see smoke, please report it to local law enforcement as quick as you possibly can. Pueblo, there you go. 86 to tie the all time record high. Colorado Springs crushed the old record. 77 degrees set back in 1991. Outside right now, these are updated temperatures. It's very comfortable all across the viewing area. 60s, 70s and 80s right now. And tonight with a few clouds in that mild westerly downslope Chinook. It's really going to be a warm night tonight, only dropping back to 45 in the springs, 43 the overnight low temperature in Pueblo, helping us save a little money on those heating bills. Afternoon highs tomorrow cooler than what we had today. Big screaming message across our area tomorrow, though, is going to be that strong gusty wind and very high fire danger. Stay away from anything that could possibly get a fire going. Windy high fire danger again and cooler still on Wednesday. Just breezy Thursday, Friday into Saturday, tracking a developing storm that could possibly bring a few showers by Sunday afternoon into Sunday night. Obviously, that one's still a long way off. We'll stay on top of it and keep everybody posted. In Pueblo, pucker up and kiss those 80s goodbye. Cooler, yes, over the next week, but those numbers still a bonus for this time of the year. Gusty and dusty tomorrow with areas of blowing dust. Windy, cooler still Wednesday, and a good-looking weekend. Afternoon high temperatures quite comfortable. In Canyon City, April showers will be a scarce commodity over the next seven days. Dry skies dominate that extended forecast. High fire danger the next couple of days at least. Report smoke to local law enforcement if you see it. And for Woodland Park, snow showers late tomorrow an inch could accumulate on elevated grassy surfaces. Another week system rolls through the Rockies on Sunday. A few passing rain and then snow showers certainly possible. 